Hey everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how to mix Extol from powder into its stock solution. This will make 5 liters of stock, so you can't just use a standard throwaway plastic gallon jug. You need something a bit bigger. So what you want to do is start off with your 5 liter jug, and you're going to put 4 liters of water into it. Room temperature will be just fine. I use a pitcher filter to remove just a few things like chlorine is the big worry before putting it into the jug. Once those four liters of water are in the jug, then we're going to mix the powders to get in, into it in a specific process. So you can see here the water going in. After the water goes in, the four liters of water goes in, we're going to add part A. So when you have your, your X-Tall powder, it will come in two bags. One says part A, one says part B. They literally go into the water in that order, okay? So here's part A going into the jug right now. I'm just going to pour it into the four liters. Uh, with something like this, if you hold the bag in the, like I'm doing here, you can have enough control over it that you don't need to use a filter, and you can do so if you're careful without spilling the X-Tol everywhere. These bags are really pretty easy to pour out of as long as you taco them like that one was, okay? Once all of the, the contents of that bag are in. I'm going to cap the five liter jug and I'm going to shake it up. And you can either shake it or you can use a swizzle stick if you have a different type of jug, something like that. But what you want to do is get the compound, the powder compound dissolved into that four liters. So now we have, uh, actually, uh, this is part B and you can see the little triangle on the right side on the top of the orange sticker there that indicates it's part B. Once all of the part A powder is dissolved, now you add part B into that four liters of water. Exact same way, taco the bag, pour it in, and once it's all in, then you fill up the jug to reach five liters. So you want to have your four liters in, and then you have your, your water container with that extra thousand milliliters of water. Pour it into the jug after all the powder. Cap the jug shake it up again and you're going to keep shaking it. I'll invert it. It's kind of hard to show you that in this camera angle, but I'll also invert it as well and do so until the sound, there's a, a sandy sound. And just keep doing that. Make sure you date the day you mix it. And then what you're going to do is do a clear test after all of the powder is dissolved. Take a piece of ruined film, drop the fixer on it, you know, nudge it a little bit if you want, just to see approximately how long it's going to take for that fixer to fully clear on the film. And in this one, it took two and a half minutes. You can use that data point as you use the fix over time to make sure that it's still as strong as when you first mixed it, mixed it and then you'll know when to throw it away or not. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.